Good morning YouTube. It's been quite some time since I did a day of eating video, so I'm going to do one of those today. Um, my macros or my total calories for the day are kind of poverty right now because I'm doing a little mini cut so I can not have a too drastic of a cut later before the meat and minks come in in uh, July. So today I'm going to be aiming for 3100 calories and this is the last day that the dining halls are open, so I definitely want to get a shot there. This will be the last, I guess, day of eating at college. The rest will be at home until the next semester. But finished the hardest year of pharmacy school. Five finals over eight days. I was beat, so it's 8 a.m. right now, and I just woke up. A little different than the usual 5 a.m. wake up, but I had combined six hours of sleep the last two days. But it's all good. So we're going to get started eating, and I'll show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. Start off the day with some black coffee because I ran out of creamer, some protein cheesecake, there's cookies and cream in this, it's pretty much fat free cream cheese, fat free Greek yogurt, and eggs and protein. I'll link the recipe down below and then we have a little bit of grape, grape flavored water. Just finished working out, now we're getting lunch. Uh, this is the last day the dining hall is open for the year, so making the best out of it and trying to make some pizzas. So here's what I got. Some tomato sauce, some bowls to weigh stuff. Some of this pepperoni that I've never seen before. May try some of that. Spinach, cheese, mushrooms, and chicken. Some Diet Mountain Dew. And to save calories, I'm gonna be making the pizzas on this pita, which are only 150 calories each. That focuses 150 calories each, as opposed to like 250 for the other ones I used to use. So, gonna get started on making these. Here's how they turned out. This one looks good. <laughs> and, um, I don't know what happened. The pita exploded and there's the remnants. But still go taste good. <laughs> Problem solved. You run out of fiber one. That's what you gotta do to get your fiber. Alright, gonna have a little more cheesecake and watch some anime. And gonna have a little bit of a, a Kool-Aid packet with that. So with anime, I finished One Punch Man and then finished up Attack on Titan recently, which was really, really good. Just got started with um, Sword Art Online, so SAO. So getting into that and it's getting really good midway through the first season. And uh, so we're gonna eat this cheesecake and go watch that. And then in a little bit, going to see Civil War, uh, The Avengers. So heard is really good, but I'll let you know what it is. I just got back from Civil War. It was really, really good. Uh, it was my favorite part was when they went like five on five, um, just people from the Avengers and went at it. So that was really a lot of action in that movie. It was really good. Definitely recommend checking it out. But uh, during the movie, I chewed about a pack of gum, 14 pieces, and I tend to give every two pieces I chew, I put that down as one carb. Uh, typically, that should I think it's an overestimate. So usually the next day I may weigh in a little light if I chew like two three packs of gum which tends to happen when I study don't judge me but I have I think like 20 calories left so we're gonna have this one little orange starburst to finish the day and that's gonna do it so 3100 calories gonna be putting the macros up right here and then multiply those into the calories right here and I want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this day of cutting uh, I guess I ate a lot of cheesecake so it was a little less variation than usual, but less calories to play with. Um, I, what I tend to do when I'm on lower calories, uh, this may help you out, is 
I usually eat very lightly throughout the day and then try to eat a majority of my calories. Like what I did with the pizzas, that meal was I think more around 2,000 calories and then the rest of the day I just had uh, like the other 1,100 spread out. So that one big meal is usually pretty satisfying and helps me give me, give me something to look forward to, something really good. And then this protein cheesecake that was made, that's really macro friendly, you can eat a lot of it and it tastes just like real cheesecake. I'm going to link that down below, the recipe again. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you see you in the next one.